so the question is, you know, what are the live opportunity or the opportunities within live and, and streaming? And over the last 18 months, it's, it's really changed, right? Cord cutting has accelerated, as we all know, and more and more viewers are watching content solely on, you know, streaming devices, sp in, including sports now. And that, that hasn't been the case, you know, always. Um, within MVPT specifically, the dishes, the fubos of the world, more and more live content is becoming available on their applications and more and more viewers are fully cutting the cord and watching it there. In fact, in 2021, there were almost 58 million viewers who watch live sports within this environment instead of the traditional linear TV way. However, one of the biggest misconceptions still is that people think they need the traditional cable access to, to view this content. And as stated, this is not the case anymore. And technologies are able to fuel the ability for these platforms to monetize that type of content. So tell us about um, you know the solutions on the programmatic side that are coming into focus that are being used and you know that you're in the market with. Yeah, for sure. So you know historically, most digital ad content right has you've been able to know and expect certain um, volumes of people coming to that content, whether it's display, whether it's video. Um, it, it changes. Live obviously creates a, a brand new environment. There is an unpredictable number of people that may be viewing live content at any given time. The number of ad slots is also not predictable. There could be, you know, a 30 second timeout right in a, in a football game, or there could be a minute and a half um, long timeout in a football game, and that's not known ahead. And so being able to solve for that looks different than solving for any other viewing that consumers do across the internet in, in multiple ways. One for the publisher themselves, right? The unpredictability isn't easy. And their biggest fear is that an ad slot doesn't show up. In digital, people have relatively expected the fact that there could be some issues, right? They don't see an ad. It says, you know, it's either blank or it goes right to the content if there's not an ad available. In traditional TV, if you're viewing a football game and there's not an ad and it just has a blank hold screen, obviously the content providers and the um, consumer is not very happy with that. And so that fear of not having an ad really creates the a, even more unknown for uh, our content providers and our partners. That being said, programmatic technology has drastically changed in the last you know, 18, 24 months and solved for a lot of those issues. So the ability to prefetch ads and have a large number of ads that could potentially fill any slot when that comes around um, is one solution. Working with DSPs to understand the volume spikes that any consumer may have is another example. But the reality is that we all have to partner together to solve for these bigger differences and what live TV brings to the table than um, you know, a, a standard digital ad. Now, Katie, uh, we, we were not together in, at CES last week, but there's a lot of innovation going on uh, that I'm sure you're, you're plugged into uh, being in Las Vegas or not. What's exciting to you in terms of the industry? What's going on right now? And what you hope to see in 2022, you know, at Magnite, but more broadly in the industry, uh, you know, around, around programmatic TV and addressable TV and, and the world we're in? I think one of the biggest things, and, and I honestly think COVID probably accelerated a lot of this, is that we don't have to, and by we, I mean the broader industry, does not need to keep doing things how we've always done it, right? And so people are always afraid of change, and change normally takes something big, right? Uh, or something big is needed to kind of change um, how things have been done. And I think COVID really is driving that. One of the most exciting things in my mind is, okay, how do we take an ad industry that has been around obviously for a really long time and look at it in a new light and a way that we can use technology to really power all of our content, all the content providers, the advertisers and everyone in the ecosystem to be more successful, more efficient and more effective. Great, great. And what do you hear from the marketplace? Uh, you got, you're very dialed into the publishers. What, what are sort of their goals as you see them, generally speaking, for the for the for this year? Yeah. So, you know, the the MVPDs have always kind of sit in a digital world. So for them, it's like, it's how do we innovate? How do we drive 
the you know general viewing behavior in this change right together for the broadcasters they're in many cases it's a whole new world right where you historically sat where everything could be direct everything could be run via traditional ux or traditional ux um you know system now brands are saying to them look half of my audience is no longer sitting in that traditional world so like what are you going to do to help me reach that audience and because of that there has to be, you know, some pretty drastic strategy changes um, that are really obviously being driven by advertisers. And so they need to rethink the combination of the traditional world, the new quote unquote new world and how they play together.